Okay, so in this episode, we are going to see what is the difference between SAS and SCSS. With that, I'm your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and website development related things. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So let's start this video and in this video we are going to see the difference between SAS and SCSS. Basically, these two are the syntax for the SAS language. That means you have the freedom to write your code for SAS in two different ways. So if you know how to write CSS files, CSS style sheets, then you then you don't have to need then you don't have to learn something new everything is just same so that's why it's written here every valid css style sheet is a valid scss file because scss means sassy css that means the sass related css okay so sass is an old syntax but because new syntax that means scss is more like a css so it will be more handy in writing so next check out these examples so you can see here i have these things on the sas syntax you can see you don't have any semicolon you don't have any brackets so semicolon is replaced by enter so if you hit enter after writing something it assumes that it's a semicolon and similarly if you create a new line and type another codes another code for CSS type thing or SCSS or SAS language then it will be acting as a bracket second thing you can see in the SAS you can see the tab is used to get inside a body so the font 100% you can see on the SAS syntax which is inside body so I want to give that font is for body so just after body I will give a tab but in when you come to SCSS syntax you can see the body has brackets so if it doesn't matter if you give the tab for font or colors it's included inside the body so it's just like a CSS that's why the SCSS is very handy and very new and obviously the useful okay so the compile files obviously if you want to convert scss file or sas file into css or scss you can convert each of them so here are the two commands which convert the sas into scss and the scss into sas so whatever you want to work with it's up to you so that's it for this episode and if you have any doubt if you want to include something in this series please feel free to comment me and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then keep watching goodbye